I started this portrait with a black and white underpainting done with ink and pencil. Sprayed just a little bit of fixative and I believe this is enough to give structure for the overlaying pastel. Basically at this point I am adding in the mid-tone, paying close attention not only to its color and value, but its shape and how it borders with the shapes around it on both sides of it. How it connects and what type of patchwork is it with its border with the darkest dark or the black and the other side which is where the white is. So I want you to pay attention to that when you're working and also try to see that same value in color throughout the painting or the portrait in this case. At this point I'm putting in the base tone or the mid-tone of the face and I'm doing this uh, for two reasons laying it down so my darks and mid-tones don't become too light or too dark and making sure that I have a basis to add the other transparent colors such as this really rich rosy red color and sort of bringing together the image in a cartoon form it's very important to lay down the pastel on the full form as quick as possible. It enables you to start to turn the light, so to speak, on the three-dimensional forms. Having the pastel on the whole surface is like having wet paint or having wet clay to mold and move the values around. Here you see the black and white. I want you to see the values, the uh, range from black to gray to white. And that's basically what we're looking for when we're painting in color, to have that full value scale to give three-dimensional qualities. And you see when we're back in color, it is looking three-dimensional because of the values. Even though it's in color, the idea of the underpainting gives you that strong uh, structure, sort of like the girders underneath the building. It's so important to do that. I want you to notice that we zoom out and look at the full image that the painting is coming together. I'm not doing an eye, a nose, a mouth, and shoulders. It's basically an ensemble. You paint everything together. You bring everything in realization together because you want this to be a painting. You want this to be a work of art that's cohesive. You want everything to work together. And only work together when you paint it together. Bring it to realization together to see how things relate to one another in its simplicity, in its separateness, but ultimately in its oneness of being a portrait as opposed to a series of features. I don't want this video to be preachy. However, I do want to help you on your own journey of painting the portrait in pastel. It's very important to constantly be critical of your own eye, to step back from your painting, to see where the edges can sometimes be softer next to each other, or even where the edges might be harder. It's also important to see how an edge is hard, but not as hard somewhere else or soft but not as blended as an edge in another area of the face. 
I want you to start to see your work as it develops, almost as if you were a teacher looking at a student's work. It is that that makes the work that much more succinct and gives you a greater artistic vision. Notice that in my pastel paintings I use any weapon at my disposal. I don't care if it's traditional. I don't care if people will think it's bad. All I care about is a beautiful image. So you see here I'm using pastel pencils for detail and look right here I'm actually using a waterproof marker to get that really hard line that I can't get anywhere else. Why would I deny myself the ability to use whatever tool is at my disposal whether it be sandpaper, whether it be uh, my finger, whether it be a pen, a razor blade, I don't care. Basically the only thing that's important is beauty in art and as artists we owe it to ourselves to make it as beautiful as possible no matter what it takes. And as we are nearing the conclusion of this painting, I think there's one more minute left, I want you to take something from this. What I want you to have from this demonstration is more courage to believe in yourself if you see a better way to let's say handle the detail of an eye believe in yourself that the idea that you have to make it work is a great idea do not discount it do not believe what your teachers say 100 percent it's what works for them so always believe in yourself and always look for the answer within yourself you are the artist you paint for yourself do not care what other people think do not worry about being loyal to any school or way of doing it do it your way that's the best